This spring-loaded gel blaster is more powerful than you think, and I'm gonna show you why. But first, let's unbox. The Gel Zone Pro Stormer. And this is a spring-powered gel blaster. So the other two are actually electronic. This is spring-powered, which I just found out. I, I didn't even know that. It says it shoots 160 FPS. I guess we'll find that out as well. The Gel Zone Pro Stormer. Time to test it out. 30 feet away from this target. Let's go ahead and see if it can actually hit it. Nice, not too bad. Let's try it again. Wow, impressive, really. It just shot two at a time and they both went in and hit the target. And right away I can see on the top, it has its own like built-in hopper as well. So this is definitely gravity fed, which I would expect for a spring-loaded gel blaster. Okay. Oh wow, that has some spring. Oh, look at that. So the red bar stays out when it's actually ready to fire. Pretty smooth. Like I would say you'd have to be at least like six years old or even older to like pull this back comfortably. Pretty firm trigger pull. So I would say like any younger than six, this would not be a good gel blaster. Uh, but it says it shoots 160 FPS. Let's go ahead and test that out. I am pretty excited about like the safety and fire being right there where like a normal gun would be. So that's pretty cool. It comes with goggles. It comes with a another cheap little bag to put Orbeez in. So when you're out in the field, you can load your gel blaster back up and continue going. And then it also comes with, it looks like five, uh, 1000 gelettes right here. I'll show you guys the prices for these right here on screen. This is the large one, the medium one, and the small one. All right, this is the FPS test for the Stormer. Caulk it back, stick it in the hole. 188, woo! This thing said 160 on the box. You better believe that's good. 186, hey, this thing is proven to be pretty nice. 190, ooh, okay. I think this thing has more than proved itself. This is probably the best spring-powered gel blaster that I've ever seen. Also, I know I don't have my goggles on, but now they're on, so stop whining. This is the Gel Zone Stormer pain test. Yes, it is. Oh, <laughs> from 10 feet away. Oh, woo, one more. All right, all right. It's a little sting, it's a little sting, ooh. Yikes. And let's open up the next largest or the second to smallest. This one is the Hydrax. Throw that box over there. 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500 and another 500. This is the Gel Zone Hydrax accuracy test. Let's give it a shot, literally. All right, that new target's pretty cool because it just like holds everything in there. I really like that. And this thing, you could definitely see a little bit of a spread on the Gillette, but it feels like it's firing pretty powerful. Let's see if it can knock our targets down. So there you go. You got your regular pair of glasses and goggles. You've also got a, uh, like a cheaper container. So you could put hydrated Gillette's in here, and then you could also use this out in the field to like refill. Comes with the charger and the battery, of course. And then this is the gel blaster itself. You can see like this is pretty large, pretty cool, a pretty uh, solid feeling. And it looks like the gel lets actually go right here on the top, which is pretty different. Got the three, got the four, got the one. All right, it took a little while. You can definitely tune this thing in, but from 30 feet away, it's pretty dang accurate. Looks like it has a safety and a fire. So um, I'm not sure if this is fully automatic or not, but we will test that a little bit later on. And I like the colors, aesthetics. I mean, the, the way this company brightens up their gel blasters to make them look not like real guns is kind of good because if you're out playing with these in the public, someone's gonna very clearly know that this is a toy. That's enough of that bad boy. This is the Gel Zone Hydro Strike. It's a rifle gel blaster and it holds 500 gelettes inside of here. Let me go ahead and cut this tape. Real quick. Pretty cool, looks cool in the package. First of all, I noticed these ginormous goggles here. 
which will cover your entire face. Let's go ahead and try them on. Ooh, so they don't really shape your with your face. They don't really bend at all, so they like stick out here. There's like space on the sides. Pretty dang cool. The one thing that I like about this is that it has a single shot fire and a fully automatic, and then it's got the safety mode as well. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with the single shot. Comes with gelettes. It comes with the charger, which I would hope it comes with. Let's go ahead and pull the rifle out. It's on just like that. And then this goes on just like that. It looks like you squeeze this trigger right here and slides in and out. Pretty cool, huh? And see how accurate it is? Let's see uh, if we can knock number one down. Then we've got a bottle here that can hold 20,000 gelettes as well. Maybe a couple hundred gelettes when they're actually hydrated and full size. All right, so this is like going all around it. It might be because I suck at aiming, but we're gonna go ahead and try out the new target we got on fully automatic. <laughs> all right, pretty cool. This thing's like just as accurate as the pistol, surprisingly, even though there's a longer barrel. We would think it's more accurate, but it's really not. Um, let's see how powerful these things are. All right, this is the FPS test for these things. Fully charged. Let's see how they fire. Barrel here, 160, 179, 188. All right, so this thing is steadily between 160 and 190 something. Not too bad for a little pistol. Let's see what the rifle can do. All right, 177, 166, 173. 175, I saw a couple of 180s, 190s in there, 156, 189. Basically the two electric gel zone uh, gel blasters here that have battery fully charged are only firing between 160 and 190. The spring fire gel zone that we tested first was actually firing around the same, 160 to 170 with a spring in it. I don't know, I'm kind of unimpressed with these now that the spring loaded one fires the same. Usually this is about the time where I do a pain test for you guys. But for these two bad boys, I'm gonna be doing a short video, which I will put in the link in the description down below and you'll be able to click on it somewhere up in here. Go watch that short video to see which one of these hurt the most. Okay, originally I was thinking like some accessories or something and now, oh, I like that a lot. All right, well, 